Ever dreamed of visiting Italy, the land of culture, history, and breathtaking landscapes? Picture a place where every corner whispers tales from centuries past, where diverse landscapes unfold like a living canvas, and where the aroma of delectable cuisine wafts through the air. Yes, we're talking about Italy, a country that's a feast for the senses. Year after year, Italy continues to enchant millions with its rich tapestry of history, art, and natural beauty. But beyond the famed Colosseum, the romantic canals of Venice, and the fashionable streets of Milan, lie hidden gems waiting to be discovered. In this video series, we'll embark on a journey through the most beautiful tourist places in Italy. From the least known to the most celebrated, each destination is a testament to Italy's timeless allure. So get ready to be captivated by Italy's lesser-known wonders and popular marvels alike. Stay tuned as we dive into our first location, a place that's just off the beaten path but full of charm. Starting our countdown, we find ourselves in the beautiful city of Urbino. Nestled in the heart of Italy, Urbino is a spectacular gem that exudes an understated charm. A city that's been around since the Renaissance, it's a place where history and culture intertwine in an enchanting dance. Urbino is a city that wears its history on its sleeve. It's a showcase of Renaissance architecture, its streets lined with beautifully preserved buildings that echo a time when art and intellect were intertwined. The city is a testament to the genius of its past inhabitants, as it thrives in the shadow of their legacy. One of the most significant aspects of Urbino is its university. The University of Urbino, established in the 15th century, is one of the oldest and most prestigious universities in the world. It's a place where the spirit of the Renaissance is still alive, where knowledge is revered, and where the pursuit of wisdom is a way of life. But the city's claim to fame extends beyond its university. Urbino is also the birthplace of Raphael, one of the greatest painters of the Renaissance. His influence is evident throughout the city, from the Raphael house where he was born, to the various frescoes and paintings that adorn the city's churches and palaces. Speaking of palaces, one of the city's main attractions is the Ducal Palace. This stunning piece of architecture, built in the 15th century, is a testament to the grandeur of the Renaissance. Today, it houses the National Gallery of the Marsh, home to an impressive collection of Renaissance art, including works by Raphael himself. In Urbino, every corner turned reveals a new piece of history, Every step taken is a step back in time. The city's understated charm is its strength, a charm that comes from its rich history, its beautiful architecture, and the spirit of intellect that permeates its air. A visit to Urbino is like stepping back in time, a journey that's definitely worth it for any history enthusiast. Next on our list, we travel to the stunning coastal region of Cinque Terre. Nestled along the rugged coastline of the Italian Riviera, Cinque Terre is a cluster of five picturesque villages that charm visitors with their idyllic beauty. Each village, Monterosso Mare, Vernazza, Corniglia, Manarola, and Rio Maggiore, tells its own unique story through vibrant pastel-colored houses clinging to steep terraces and narrow, winding streets that seem to invite exploration. Monterosso al Mare, with its sandy beaches and azure waters, is the perfect spot for sunseekers. Vernazza, often considered the prettiest of the five, is a feast for the eyes with its beautiful harbor and castle ruins. Cornelia, perched high on a hilltop, offers breathtaking panoramas of the Mediterranean Sea. Manarola, known for its sweet Chiacetra wine, is a paradise for wine enthusiasts. While Rio Maggiore, the southernmost village, is a haven for photographers with its iconic colorful houses cascading down the cliffside. But Cinque Terre isn't just about the villages, it's about the journey. The famous hiking trails that link these villages offer spectacular views of the Mediterranean and the surrounding vineyards and olive groves. Whether you're a seasoned hiker or a leisurely walker, these trails promise an unforgettable experience. And let's not forget the food. Cinque Terre is a seafood lover's delight. From freshly caught anchovies marinated in lemon and olive oil to mussels steamed with garlic and white wine, every dish is a culinary celebration of the region's bountiful sea. Cinque Terre is more than just a destination. It's a vibrant tapestry of life, color, and taste. It's a place where tradition meets tranquility, where every narrow alley, every sunlit terrace, every bite of seafood, and every panoramic view of the sea is a testament to Italy's enduring charm. Cinque Terre, a place where time seems to stand still, 
is a must visit for anyone seeking tranquility and natural beauty. Our third stop takes us to the heart of Renaissance art and architecture, Florence. Cradled in the Tuscan region of Italy, Florence is a city that pulsates with life. It's a living, breathing museum that houses some of the world's most famous works of art. Let's start our exploration with the city's renowned art museums. The Uffizi Gallery, for instance, is a treasure trove of masterpieces displaying works from greats like Botticelli, Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci. Meanwhile, the Academia Gallery is home to Michelangelo's iconic statue, David, a testament to the city's artistic prowess. However, the city's artistic grandeur doesn't stop at its museums. Even a casual stroll around Florence reveals the city's architectural magnificence. The Florence Cathedral, known colloquially as the Duomo, is a testament to this. With its terracotta-tiled dome engineered by Brunelleschi and the towering Campanile bell tower by Giotto, the Duomo is an architectural marvel that dominates the city's skyline. And who could forget the Ponte Vecchio? This medieval stone-arched bridge, one of the city's most iconic landmarks, is a sight to behold. Once home to butchers, today it's lined with jewelry, art, and souvenir shops, making it a vibrant hub of commerce and culture. But Florence is not just about art and architecture, it has played a pivotal role in shaping Italian history. It was the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance, a period of great cultural change and achievement that began in Italy during the 14th century and lasted until the 17th century. This era saw unprecedented developments in art, architecture, literature, and science, many of which were led by Florentine citizens like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. Florence's influence extends beyond its borders, shaping the course of art and culture around the world. It's a city that has gifted the world with a rich tapestry of art, history, and culture that continues to inspire and captivate. With its rich heritage and stunning architecture, Florence is a city that will leave you awestruck. Finally, at the top of our list, we arrive at the eternal city, Rome, a city where each turn of the corner reveals another architectural marvel, another testament to a rich and vibrant history. Imagine walking in the footsteps of the ancient Romans at the Colosseum, the largest amphitheater ever built. This colossal structure, once the stage of gladiatorial contests and public spectacles, is a symbol of the city's strength and endurance. Its mighty arches and corridors echo with the stories of the past, resonating with the heartbeat of history. From there, take a journey through time to the Pantheon, a masterpiece of Roman engineering. As you gaze up at its immense dome, remember that this building has stood for nearly 2,000 years, its beauty undiminished by the passage of time. The Pantheon's grandeur is a testament to Rome's architectural prowess and a symbol of the city's enduring allure. No visit to Rome is complete without stepping into the Vatican City. Here you'll find St. Peter's Basilica, an architectural marvel that's home to priceless works of art. Beyond its physical beauty, the Vatican is a spiritual heartland, a beacon to millions of faithful worldwide. Rome is not just a city, it's a living, breathing museum. Every cobblestone street, every ancient monument, every bustling piazza tells a story of a city that was once the center of the known world. It's a city that has seen empires rise and fall, a city that has been the cradle of Western civilization. But Rome is not trapped in the past. It's a city that thrives in the present. The vibrant street life, the tantalizing aroma of Italian cuisine wafting from trattorias, the lively markets, and the contemporary art scene all contribute to Rome's timeless beauty. Rome, a city where the past and the present coexist, is the ultimate destination for any travel enthusiast. So, there you have it, five of the most beautiful tourist places in Italy. We've journeyed together through the understated charm of Urbino a city that's a true embodiment of the Renaissance spirit. We've marveled at the coastal beauty of Cinque Terre with its colorful houses perched on cliffs overlooking the Mediterranean. We've traversed the grandeur of Florence, a city that's a treasure trove of art and architecture and a testament to the prowess of the Medici family. We've time-traveled in Rome, walking through the annals of time and witnessing the timeless beauty of the eternal city. These places aren't just locations on a map, they're living, breathing entities, each with a unique story to tell, a unique flavor to taste, and a unique experience to offer. 
Each of these places offers a unique experience that is sure to leave a lasting impression. So what are you waiting for? Pack your bags and embark on your Italian adventure today.